As we continue looking into division, we want to look at division patterns. Uh, division is the inverse of multiplication, meaning it is just the opposite. So when we look at multiplication, division is really just multiplication backwards. For example, if we have 8 times 6 equals 48, I'm looking 48 divided by 6 equals 8. Okay, so all of the multiplication facts that we learn will help us with division because we can look at division as multiplication. Uh, we just want to talk about some of the patterns that will come by with multiplication. So when we learned multiplication, we knew that if we added a zero to the end of one of our digits in the problem, then we could just add a zero to the end of the answer or to the end of the product. Now, it's the same thing with division. However, we start with the dividend, the thing that is being divided. So whatever is being divided, that's where we have that zero. 480 divided by 6, because that extra zero is there, we just look at the, multi at the division fact. What's 48 divided by 6? Well, 48 divided by 6 is 8. Well, I added a zero onto 48, so 48 divided by 6 is 8. 480 divided by 6 is 80. So what we're looking for is the basic fact. Some of these we might run across as, say, 40 divided by 5. Now, that already ends in a 0, but we look at the basic fact, 40 divided by 5. Well, gosh, I don't know how to do 40 divided by 5. So I could look blank times 5 equals 40. 40 divided by 5 equals something blank times 5 equals 40. I'm thinking, okay, if 8 times 5 equals 40, 40 divided by 5 equals 8. Now, as we're looking at these patterns, 400 divided by 5 equals, well, here's the main fact. We added a 0 to the end of the, to the dividend in the fact that we know, so equals 80. 4,000 divided by 5 equals, well, 8 plus one zero plus another zero, 800, and so on. Those are the division patterns that we will be looking at to help us be able to estimate and to understand division a little more.